Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, will we ever be able to talk to animals? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. The real hurdle to having a conversation with an animal is that they don't have language in the same way we do. They're able to communicate certain feelings through gestures and noises, but that's about as complex as it gets. Humans are able to express abstract ideas like happiness or even just talking about something that's not right within our line of sight. While a meerkat can warn the rest of its clan about an approaching snake, they can't talk about the snake afterwards, let alone discuss whether or not it seemed to be in good spirits. It's still communicating something though, right? Yes, but in the same way babies communicate basic things with us by shouting and crying. We draw a very clear line between this and actual talking when tracking their development. Real language is learned, rather than innate. Well, my dog completely understands me, doesn't he? Yes, he does, he does. Don't you, Jeffrey? Yes, you do. Your dog understands the tone of your voice. Try angrily yelling at him that he's a good boy. He is not going to wag his tail. What about birds? My great aunt had a parrot that used to say things like, Polly want a cracker? And, help, help, an evil sorcerer turned me into a parrot. Wait. Parrots, parakeets and the like don't understand the meaning of the words you teach them either. They're just mimicking sounds. They do this for a few reasons. For some, it's a way of mapping out what they perceive as their territory and everything in it, including your great aunt, while for others it's a way of scaring off predators by mimicking other, scarier creatures, including your great aunt. But haven't some animals been taught human languages? Kind of. A variety of great apes, including chimps, orangutans and bonobos, have been raised to communicate with humans through various means. Sign language appears to be particularly successful, although the conversation wasn't especially enlightening. Even Coco the lowland gorilla, probably the most famous of these so-called talking apes, was never able to understand grammar or to display mental processes beyond that of a two- to three-year-old child. Don't we share, like, 96% of our DNA with chimps? Can we not teach them how to talk? Although recent research has discovered that chimpanzee vocal anatomy, lips, tongue, larynx, etc., is similar enough to ours that they could technically speak our words, the sad truth is that their brains aren't developed enough. They lack the neural control over their vocal tract muscles necessary to speak the way we do. Wait, are you saying that there are some humans that actually use their brains when they speak? Amazing, isn't it? Rumor has it there are still one or two of them out there. Freaks! Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products. <laughs>